Hi, my name is Tan, and I wanted to um, just talk a little bit about the online teaching program that is uh, being developed inside of the Liberal Arts um, Office of Educational Technology Instructional Design Department. And right now, um, it's, it's January as I'm recording this, and we're, um, we've uh, just launched the first session of this teaching program for faculty to uh, be enrolled and experience the course as an online student. So I just kind of wanted to introduce this course. Um, you'll see that right now I'm on the home page. Um, and on the home page, there's just a, a welcome message, a start here area, and then um, portals for some of the learning modules. So first, I want to kind of talk to you about um, just the logic of of this online teaching program like why and how do we develop the course this way and then um, I'll go in and give an overview of the entire course and maybe uh, look at a few of the individual modules so when we first were thinking about how to organize this course how to design this course we looked at two things. Um, the first thing that we looked at um, was something called Quality Matters. And the second is the backwards design approach. So uh, let's start with Quality Matters. Now, Quality Matters is um, it's a nonprofit organization that provides trainings for quality assurance in online education. They provide um, online trainings for K-12 and higher education. And um, everyone in our office has had, uh, everyone that's uh, in the instructional design department in our office has had training from QM. And what we looked at when we were developing our online teaching program was their, um, their higher education rubric. Uh, the sixth edition, which is the latest one that we have right now. So their, uh, their rubric lists a lot of different standards um, for a quality online course. And you'll notice that whenever you go through our learning modules, that um, the second or third page always lists the, um, the QM standards that are... Uh, that's uh, being addressed inside of that particular module, okay? So another thing that we looked at was something called backwards design. We want faculty to take a backwards design approach in planning their course. So traditionally, um, instructors, when they plan their course, they often begin with their these activities like readings, lectures, discussions, and homework. And then they plan their tests or their assessments, and that results in some grades. Now, the backwards design approach um, always starts with the learning objectives, the goals of the course. And then through the objectives, um, you, you design your assessments. And then lastly, you choose your learning activities um, and all these things, the activities, the assessments, go back and support the objectives and the goals of the course. Um, that's why it's called backwards design, and it's supposed to um, help with the, um, just help with alignment of everything inside of the course. So if we go back to the uh, online teaching program, um, you'll notice that the first three modules is about designing the course and it is about alignment um, and it introduces the backwards design approach to designing a course. So uh, module one is called Developing Quality Online Courses Based on Alignment and this module covers um, quality, quality matters, um, objectives. Module two is about um, assessments and then module three is about learning activities so these three first modules is about um, course design
So the next modules, um, modules four and five, is about course structure. So module four is called organizing your course. So it's about organizing the course in a way that makes sense to the online learner. And module five is about accessibility. Then module six covers um, basically how to teach online, how to have your your how to establish your instructor presence online. And then the very last module um, ends with an activity where the faculty and the instructional designers um, talk about uh, what they have um, what they've gained from the course and what they have developed for their online course.